Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover comparing fractions with the same numerator using models. Let's jump into number one, where we have three eighths and three fourths. So reading this from left to right, we have three eighths is greater than, less than, or equal to three fourths. So which fraction is greater? Well, if we have fractions with the same numerator, all we have to do is compare the denominators. The fraction with the smaller denominator is greater. Now here, we're going to use models to help us visualize this. So let's start with a model of 3 eighths right here. So we need to fill in three equal parts out of the eight total equal parts. So one, two, three. Now we need a model of three fourths right here. So we need to fill in three equal parts out of the four total equal parts. So one, two, three. So which fraction is greater? Which circle has more shaded in? Well, we can see that 3 fourths is greater. But how does that work? Because both of these circles have three parts shaded in. So how is one of these fractions greater than the other? Well, it's because of the denominators. The circle on the left is split into eight parts, and the circle on the right is only split into four parts. Basically, when we have the same numerator, we can compare the fractions by looking at the denominators. The larger a denominator is, the more parts a whole is divided into. Therefore, the parts are smaller. The smaller a denominator is, the fewer parts a whole is divided into. Therefore, the parts are bigger. So if we have fractions with the same numerator, the fraction with the smaller denominator is greater. Those equal parts of the whole are bigger. So we have more of the whole, a greater portion of the whole. And we can see that with these circles. Even though we have three parts shaded in for both, three fourths is greater. Now remember, the comparison symbol always opens up towards whatever is greater. So our symbol goes like this, and we can read this comparison from left to right as 3 eighths is less than 3 fourths. Let's move on to number two, where we have 1 half and 1 third. So reading this from left to right, we have 1 half is greater than, less than, or equal to 1 third. We have the same numerator here. 1, so we can just compare the denominators. Well, let's think about this. We are looking at 1 part out of 2 and 1 part out of 3. So one of the holes has only been divided into 2 equal parts. And then the other hole has been divided into 3 equal parts. The hole divided into only 2 parts will have bigger parts than the hole divided into Three. So one half is greater than one third. Let's show that with these models. We'll start with one half right here. So we need to shade in one of the two parts. So one. And then we need one third right here. So one part out of the three. And we can see that one half is greater. More of the whole is shaded in. So our comparison symbol goes like this. And we can read the comparison from left to right as one half is greater than one third. So there you have it. There's how to compare fractions with the same numerator using models. Just remember, if fractions have the same numerator, compare the denominators. 
the fraction with the smaller denominator is greater. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.